War in the Middle East now appears imminent as the United States, Britain, the European Union, and Israel put the final touches on an embargo on Iran, and warships are sailing to the Persian Gulf. Last Friday, the U.S. and Israel announced that they will have a massive exercise in the Persian Gulf. It will include thousands of U.S. and Israeli soldiers and will test multiple air defense systems against incoming missiles and rockets. Meanwhile, Iran will also be conducting war games in the Persian Gulf and have already launched a military maneuver near its border with Afghanistan. Now, there's a lot of war games going on in the Persian Gulf. The United States, Israel are participating in a massive war game. Iran at the same time. Could that be a recipe for disaster? I think there's a lot of war games that go on all the time of different sizes. I don't know if this is much different. I don't know if disaster is the word, but I think you're not in a good situation right now. Should we intervene for Israel? Don't you think Israel has a capability of protecting themselves? I definitely think there's a case to defend Israel for what it is. Uh, might not be the strongest case, but should we invade Iran for Israel? No, I think that's a weaker case. I feel like Israel can, and can take care of themselves, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have somebody backing you up. Well, it's not about weapons of mass destruction and nuclear bomb. It's all about natural gas and oil. Iraq have the oil and Iran have the natural gas. And that's what America wants, and we all know that. But the media is liars, and they tell us all lies. And we just got to go with the lies because they have the power to spread the lies. Presidential candidate Ron Paul said the increasingly severe sanctions imposed on Iran in response to its alleged nuclear weapons program are steps that will eventually lead to war. The first thing you do when you go to war, you put, you, uh, put uh, boycotts on them and you blockade a country. It is, in many ways, an act of war. We assume that we have to do it through force, through sanctions and threats and intimidation and, and, and secret maneuvers to overthrow their regime. It, it just doesn't work. I think, we're, I think we're punishing them. I think it's retributive, definitely. Whether or not it's with the aim of pushing them into open war with us, I don't know. I feel like if you're just pressing somebody, you're only going to push them more the other direction anyway. I think that the U.S. has been provoking a lot of people for a long time. I just think sometimes the United States needs to worry about the United States. You know, it's really not that many differences between us and them if you really think hard about it. The people, or would that be the government? No, the people. I'm talking about the ordinary, ordinary Iranians uh, are very different from the image that we have of the Iranian government. Well, what do you think is going to happen to oil prices if there is a conflict? Well, definitely the oil prices are going to go up because Iran is going to hold on to the oil. The Middle East have the most oil, as we know, as a fact. Do you think our economy could take it? Not right now. The economy is falling, the dollar is dying, everything is, you know, going deteriorating, and there's no solution right now. I mean, I feel like any major conflicts in the world right now are going to keep impacting the declining economy. Are you concerned that something bad's going to happen out there? Not I am. We all should be concerned. The whole world should be concerned because it's not about us, it's about the whole world. Now, President Obama is prepared to use military force to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. And that's if sanctions and so-called diplomacy fail. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News.